Hello, I'm Connor Basom, and welcome to week 12 of the Your Wellness Matters 90 Day Challenge, hosted by Your Money Matters and Rock Fitness Training. Over the next 90 days, I'd like you to commit to making three things happen. One, eating clean, which means no fake food, fast food, junk food, or processed food. Two, drinking at least 64 ounces of water every day. That's four or more water bottles. And three, exercise at least 10 minutes every morning. Now to help you with that last goal, I've been releasing and will continue to release a video every week that does exactly that. It works the entire body with using little to no equipment. Today we'll be using a stability ball so that you can do it in your own home, at the office if you're running late, or even outside at lunchtime. All you need is water and a towel and a stability ball. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to first start with a twist side to side like we always do. Sure, you're getting sick of it, but you're almost there. You've got two more weeks in our 90 day challenge. We're so close. So to change it up a little bit, let's go ahead and turn it into circles. So watch my feet as we twist around. That could be a little too complicated. So if you wanna just keep your feet still as you go, then we'll reverse the direction. Try to make nice big circles for five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to go into the Heisman, which you remember, but this time instead of going up like that, we're just going to go side to side. As we jump, we still twist. We're still working our shoulders because we're holding on to the stability ball, but you're trying to go out, out every time, bringing your knee in. Nice and high. So if you can, if you're fast enough, you can try to switch the ball side to side. Or just twist side to side. Looking good. Another version of this, we can just go back to our butt kicks as we twist. That's our modified version. Let's get this for just a few more. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Now we'll place the ball on the ground. Go ahead and take a seat and roll it out. So right here, hands behind the head. We're gonna go ahead and crunch up to the ceiling, not forward. I don't want you coming all the way up here each time. I'd rather you stay down and just go up and down, trying not to move the ball as you do. So side view, so you see what we're doing. We're not going too high up, small, controlled, range of motion, trying not to move the ball. If we're using our back, if we're using other things, the ball is going to roll like that. See the motion? There we go. We don't want that. Keep it still. Let's move to the front. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to stand all back up. It's one of my favorites, the jumping jack stability or stability ball jumping jack. So we're going to go out and in. So every time the feet are out, the ball is up like that. Whenever you're down, the ball is down. Just like that. So if we want to move a little faster, there we go. If our knees have been bothering us, we want to take it easy today. Just stand still, go up and down, nice range of motion, all the way up, all the way down, or keep jumping, keep that heart rate up. It's only 10 minutes, you can do it. You're probably, you're getting in pretty good shape at this point. Go three, two, and one. Now I'll come down, bring it around. All right, sit down, but not for long. I want you to call these, or I call these the booty bounce. So you're gonna be sitting on the ball, hands out in front, just like a squat. We're not gonna be sitting all the way down. We're not gonna be standing all the way up. It's a lot like our squat pulses that we've done in the past as well. So you're just barely keeping any weight on the ball as you go the whole time. Now, if you're not breathing as heavy as I am, probably because you're just like here and you're just sitting down. You're just letting the ball bounce. No, I want you to be in front of the ball, just barely touching the ball. You'll feel a big difference. Let's go three, two, and one. Right from there, now we will sit back on the ball. Roll out again, and this time we're gonna crunch and twist. So I want you to come up a little higher on the ball, but not so far that you cause it to move. So we're twisting side to side. Nice and controlled, getting our obliques involved as well. So I'll show you side boots, 
Side view. Here we go. Crunching up. Twisting each time. But notice I'm not letting the ball get out of control. I'm not rolling all the way up. I'm controlling it back and forth. Let's get a few more. Back in the front. Two. And one. Very good. We're back to the beginning, which is our big circles. So remember, you can try to, there you go, move the feet as well, or just let the ball do the work. Nice big circles. We're not little circles, we're talking big circles. Wake up those shoulders, looking good, reverse direction. There we go. Nice job. Now since we switch direction, that also means you're past halfway. You're almost done with these. If you don't like them, you won't have to do too many. More, two, and one. Now we'll go back to our Heisman twist, side to side. There we go. Make sure the ball's getting all the way over to the other side. Got the super speedy hands. There it is. Not necessary, that's super extra credit. <laughs> and no one can keep it out that long, if I can. Looking good. Side to side, a little bit further. If you're feeling good, pick up the pace. Move a little faster side to side. So quick Heisman. We're gonna need to slow it down to our butt kick as we twist. Like I showed you last time, just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Falls down, sit down, roll out just a little bit. You want the ball small of your back as we crunch up. This is not our twist, so we're just using the abs right down the middle of the body. Remember, try not to let the ball move. Try to crunch to the ceilings, not to the knees. Looking good. Try not to come up too far. It's when you're going down that you're doing the most work on those abs. So let's keep going just a little bit further. Ten more seconds. Looking good. Two and one. Very good. Roll all the way back up. Ball down in front. Up and down, chubby jacks. Here we go. I'll show you the modification right away. Straight up and down. If not, you're jumping those feet. You're burning some calories. You're waking up for your day gonna be a good one. You've almost survived tax season. It's just a little bit further. You can do it. Looking good. 15 seconds. You can pick up the pace if you can. There it is. Or slow it down. Whatever you can do, you're almost done with your whole workout. Past three quarters of the way. Let's go two. And one. Pause down. Get out in front. The booty bounce. Good. Like I said before, we'll show from the side here. If you're sitting down here, you're thinking, this is not hard at all. What I want you to do is you're out in front, just tapping. Just like that, just like our squat pulse. Except now we got a little more support as we go up and down. Keep your chest up. Small range of motion. Let's come back. There we go. Looking good. We've got five more seconds. Keep bouncing. Get that booty bouncing. Let's go three, two, and one. Very good. Roll out just a little bit. And now we're back to our crunch. But this time with the twist. Don't need to come all the way up. Just make sure you're twisting. Using these obliques. Not just the abs down the middle, but the side of the abs. If you do a million of these a day, you'll lose those love handles. But you don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So just give me 10 minutes right now. You're almost there. Looking good. You got 10 more seconds, push through. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now that's left is our super special challenge. And today, we're going to be following the same theme, 
of a minute long of a plank position. This time, since we have our stability ball, we'll go ahead and use that. So, like the last time, if you watched week seven, I think it was when we had stability ball, I want you to anchor it if you're not ready. If you want more of a challenge, move it away. But up against the wall is gonna be a lot more supported than just the way it is. So we got starting right, get on down, here we go. So we've done the plank before. What's different this time is I want you to go ahead and alternate leg lifts behind. Woo! If you can. That's gonna be a challenge for me to make the entire minute this way. So if you need to, keep with a regular plank right here. If this is still too hard, drop to the knees, hold it up there. But if not, get off those knees and keep pivoting side to side. You're doing good. We're past halfway. Now if this is starting to hurt the back, try not to push through, come to a modified version, keep holding it. You can still work that core. We don't want to injure you. You're almost there. Woo. Give me 10 more seconds. Oh, this is tough. Keep those hips up. Three, two, and one. Woo! Oh, way to go. Well done once again. Oh, you've already gotten your morning workout already done with, so now make sure that you drink 64 ounces of water and eat clean for the rest of the day. Now, if you like to see um, other 10 minute workouts or get our most recent articles, go and visit us at ymminc.com slash challenge. But if you'd like to check out some of my cooking videos or see a schedule for boot camps that we run, please visit me at rockfitnesstraining.com. But until then, train hard, rock harder, and I'll see you tomorrow.